It is both legal and lethal. Seven pounds of steel and plastic that fire a bullet at roughly 3,000 feet per second. It's called the AR-15. To some, it is a brilliant piece of engineering, a modern sporting rifle, and a symbol of one of America's most basic freedoms. Thank God for America. To others, the AR-15 is an obscenity, an assault weapon with no justifiable place in civilian hands. You don't need an AR-15. You don't need 30 rounds. The vice president and I have a disagreement on that. And to both sides, the rifle used in Aurora. I got people running out of the theater there shot. And Newtown. Caller's indicating she thinks there's someone shooting in the building. Has become a lightning rod. I haven't forgotten those kids. Shame on us if we forgot. In a wrenching debate over what a gun like this is for, we will not be demonized and we will not be silent. And whether anyone should have one. Why anybody needs to have one of these assault style weapons. There are some 4 million AR 15s in the US. How did a weapon born on the battlefield become the most popular rifle in the country? Next, our story. America's Gun, The Rise of the AR-15. CNBC at Night is now the all-new CNBC Prime. It makes me feel strong, makes me feel comfortable, makes me feel like I can accomplish things. It's a killing machine. It's meant to do a lot of damage very, very quickly. The AR-15 semi-automatic. Lethal and legal. The weapon that's dividing a nation. Brian Sullivan reports America's Gun, The Rise of the AR-15. Premieres Thursday, April 25th on CNBC Prime.